So I always like to start the video with where I am. We are at 13100 Southeast 182nd Avenue Road, gate 4308. We've been here before, but uh, there's a couple of different hikes that we haven't done. There's my chariot. So uh, without further ado, this is just going to be an easy day hike. Uh, don't even know if I'll get a whole video out of this. Uh, well, we'll see. Let's just get going. I uh, didn't even bring any water or anything. Just a beautiful, beautiful day here in Florida. I'm telling you, it's uh, it's wonderful sometimes if the weather that we do get. Uh, yesterday was an amazing day, but I was still recovering from that uh, hike up into the Ocala National Forest. And we'll talk about that in a minute once we get on the trail. So previously when we were here, we went this way and then took a right and kind of looped back into these uh, woods here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just going to hike up to the uh, the next uh, area uh, where you can park. Uh, we've already we we haven't hiked this right here, but we did hike the uh, the other area going that way out into the uh, the prairie. So I'm just you know really I'm just out to get some exercise today. I don't think there's going to be much to see on this. We're just going to hike this just to say we did it and. Uh, Anyway, it's, uh, it'll be a nice, uh, easy hike. Hopefully, <laughs> there's no damn chiggers <laughs> in this grass. Oh, my God. Well, let's just talk about that Ocala trip. Holy mo- You know, and the sad thing is I had my damn hiking pants in the backpack when I was hiking that. I just didn't know that the bugs were getting all over me, you know. And, man, I'm telling you, have I got the bites. I mean, chigger bites all around my ankles. Uh, oh, it's spider evidently got me on my hip um, because uh, wow I wonder what this is we got a fence over here that's interesting why is there a fence here you know me I'm always got to find the weird stuff but uh, anyway yeah that spider bite uh, that's I've been sucking the pus out of that we got one of them suction cup things so it looks like an electrified fence but for what because you can see the, uh, the solar panel right here. Huh. I have no clue. All right, well, let's just get back on the trail. So, not only morning beehives. Ooh, well, I guess <laughs> if you watch my uh, It's Okay to Be Stupid bug video, uh, I guess I'm going to be stupid again. Um, so, I guess uh, we'll see what uh, we run into. The grass is looking a little shaggy. That worries me because, uh, man, after that chigger nightmare and uh, spider bites and, uh, of course, poison ivy, uh, you name it, man, that Ocala trip just uh, just destroyed me. Um, and it was my stupidity. You know, I should have been uh, had those at least had the long pants on. I don't think that would have helped a whole lot because when I got home, um, there was just a... I had triggers crawling all over me, you know, and even with the pants on, they still, because they, they're just little tiny critters, you know, they can get in, around your belt, uh, you know, by, you know with, with your shirt, your shirt's just not going to, of course, they were all in the shirt and in my socks and everything else, but uh, so uh, the pants would have helped quite a bit. I wouldn't have had the, the bites on my legs that I had. Anyway, that's it for just talking about the college trip and, you know, how we get out here and do our thing but you can see it's uh for what i think is just going to be a nothing hike it's beautiful this is why i come here you know this is uh would you rather hike around the neighborhood and look at the houses you know which is what uh, most people in my community do or would you rather come here now it's a bit of a a ride but i mean what a, it's a beautiful day and i love riding that motorcycle and these country roads are fun you know, you get up to 65 miles an hour in the 55 zone and those windy roads, man, and you're just blazing around those turns. It's a, it's a heck of a lot of fun. The only thing that's frightening to me, and I got to get used to it, is, uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I told you, riding a motorcycle is like uh, it's be, being in a club and everybody kind of waves at each other as you pass by. Well, I got to get used to taking my hand off the... <laughs> <laughs> the handlebar at 60 miles an hour. It's uh, it's a little scary for me yet, but uh, it's uh, it's I'm getting a lot better at it, and I'm certainly riding. You know, as you ride more and more, you get better and better with uh, everything you do on a motorcycle, just like anything in life. You know, if you've been driving all your life, you you're pretty confident behind the wheel of a car, unless 
you know you get stupid like sleepy or or drink or do drugs or something like that but anyway let's uh let's just enjoy the rest of i don't think we're going to get much change up you can kind of see what it looks like let's get the sun in the in the video here absolutely gorgeous look at those trees and then uh, over here you pretty thick you know the road's just right over here so you know you're not very far from from civilization doubt i have a cell phone signal out here um, so if you did have a heart attack you, <laughs> you might just lay here till the night but uh all right man peace out guys if i see something different we'll get more on the on the video like i said uh don't think we're gonna get much today um but i am gonna hike for a couple hours and uh, just just to get my exercise mainly all right bye bye well, kind of a little different look. You know, we've just come up that. Glad to see the grass is not quite as high as it was. Uh, man, I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm bug paranoid now. <laughs> Once you've been infested with chiggers, I mean, uh, it, it, you just, it's, it's a traumatic experience, man. I can't get, wrap my brain around that whole hike. I'd never seen anything like that in my socks, in my clothes, in my hair, in my... In my you know spider bites uh fleas i had fleas too oh my god i tell you what it's going to be a while before we get back in that ocala national forest uh, although we are going to try going east and uh i'm going to put together a spray bottle of uh vinegar and i'm just gonna i'm gonna lather myself up for an east hike on the florida trail uh probably this week sometime and uh and, you know the thing is i mean do i really know if it worked or not because uh it could be there's just that portion of the trail doesn't have the bugs, you know, but if, uh, if I don't have any bug bites after hiking it, then I guess we'd say, well, vinegar seems to work. Who knows, you know? So uh, all I know is that's all I've read on the internet. I'm, that's not firsthand knowledge, people. That's just me uh, talking about it. But you can kind of see it's, uh, it's a different look here, just uh, pretty nice. Uh, we got a little cut in uh, fire break right here going that way. You know, I used to think these were cut in as horse trails, but they're not. These are actual fire breaks. Um, because uh, according to Lisa, now I don't have, I don't, I don't have a horse. She said even the horses have a hard time hiking in that, uh, that heavy sand, although they can do it. So, but uh, you can see, look at that uh, tree. I mean, my God, some of the trees we have here in Florida, look at this one. I mean, just amazing, monstrous trees. So, all right, that's good enough for... for for now, uh, did want to talk just a little bit of resilience stuff. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of a weird, weird feeling for me. Is you know, I, I could look around and I just can't think of a darn thing left to do. Even finances, I'm kind of on autopilot at this point. I mean, silver is uh, selling now for well, the Philharmonics for thirty-four dollars. That's just more than I want to pay. Hopefully, the the big boys will beat it back down again, and you know, maybe I can pick up some more at a cheaper price but at this point you know i'm out of the out of the precious metals just, that's nothing i can do um even the sprot uh etfs have gotten expensive so can't make any moves there <clears throat> you know i'm waiting for a stock market crash because i do have a lot of positions that i want to take I'm, I'm looking for a 50 percent haircut before i get into the back into the market uh mainly just sitting on cash you know so I guess that's, uh, in, in, as far as paying bills, you know, I did take out a loan a while back, and so I'm just paying that down, you know, so basically you're just paying a little bit of debt and paying the bills, that's it for financial. I mean, I, you know, life don't get any simpler than that, you know, and I'm watching, I just watch YouTube videos. Uh, a lot of them guys on YouTube are really, really smart. You know, I suggest you do too, and for, for the silver videos and for, investing you know and you got to look at it from all different angles you know some of them are gold buffs you know some of them are saying that you know we, we're looking at a housing crash i mean and, and i agree i mean my god housing has just gone insane you know people are paying you know i, I saw the other day that uh, somebody was trying to sell a home i can't remember where it was for two hundred thousand, and they ended up selling it for four hundred thousand. they were asking 200 but there were so many bids on it that they they paid two hundred thousand dollars over asking price for the house, you know. So it's just gone insane. I mean, thank God, I, I you know, I can't say I own my house. The bank owns my house. I still have a mortgage. But uh, but you know, at least that's I'm in it. You know, I mean, 
I don't know how much it's worth now. I don't want to know, you know, because that means my taxes are going to go up because we do have property taxes here in Florida. All right, peace out. And, uh, you know, because I'm homesteaded, they're not that doggone high. But, you know, if your house goes doubles in price, uh, as far as the appraisal goes, you're paying double the amount of taxes, even even though we have a low tax rate. So it's just, uh, it's gone insane. We got inflation. So, you know, your dollars aren't stretching very far or as far as they used to. So it's just, it's just going to be brutal, people. So we'll see. Well, look at that. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's cotton. Uh, no, nah, probably not. You know, it tells you how, <laughs> what a city slicker I am. I don't, I don't even know what cotton looks like. Isn't that terrible? All right, man. Peace out. Let's uh, just keep on going. Like I said, just more of the same on this trail. That's uh, not much to it. Okay, I was wrong. This must be another parking area that I haven't been to before. Because this is this wasn't on that other parking area because you couldn't go that way. So rather than go this way, let's go down this way and see where we go. This ought to be interesting. Okay, I, was, I lied. I told you the Sunny Hill is just riddled with trails, you know, every which way you can go. That's what I love about it because uh, you get here and you're just like, wow. Okay, here's another trail, you know. Let's check this one out. So looks like we're going to maybe get out into the prairie and uh, probably see some water maybe. Who knows? Look at that tree. Another huge tree. All right, let's get, get going. So this is uh, very nice. I don't, I'm pretty sure I've never hiked this. We could go this way. We just came up that. But I love the look of this. See how the water's kind of bending to the left. So I'm just going to kind of continue on this way. Maybe next time. Boy, I tell you, you could hike around back here for <laughs> for days and days. It's great. I love it. Oh, man. I'll tell you. Though, the other thing, one comment. Um, I will bring my long pants next time I come. The grass, uh, I don't know when they, they cut it or who cuts it or anything but it is pretty long and there could be some snakes uh hiding down in the grass it's like you know right here you can see just fine but some of the grass i've hiked through was pretty doggone deep and i was thinking man if there's a snake down in that grass i would not see it that's the only thing i would need you know i think you need to worry about uh you know it's wide enough you would see a gator if he uh if he was sunning himself of, out of the water somehow um you know, snakes, uh, so far, no fleas or chiggers <laughs> that I can see, so that's good. I got my, my socks pulled up as high as I can get them, um, but, and I'm keeping an eye on them to see if there's anything in the grass, but uh, so far, so good. And look at this, isn't that beautiful? I see how the water's kind of going back in there, and then you got the, the, the canopy here. Really, really, just love being here at Sunny Hill. All right. And I'm making too doggone much video again, as I always do. But this is unique. I mean, you've got the water on the right, and you got the water on the left. So you're kind of like on a little island or ridge, just kind of hiking in between two, uh, I, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, they're not streams or creeks, uh, two creeks, I guess you'd say. And, uh, you know, really totally different look. You got a big, huge forest over here. And then this kind of looks like this. It's a totally different look on the other side. So anyway, that's uh, that's it until I see something, something else. Really an amazing view. Look at that. But I wanted to get this tree also. Look at the size of these pine trees. I mean, let's just... Look at this one. Look at the size of the trunk on that thing. Man. But I just, you know, because I'm getting ready to break out of the, the pine trees here. So I thought I'd get the video right here and show you the plane, which we're going to be walking beside here shortly with no trees blocking our view. And, uh, but that, man, is that just awesome. It just looks like it stretches for couple of miles in the direction I can thank God we're preserving things like this all right see so like I said you could really hike around back here here's another we well, see how long the grass is that's what I'm talking about with the 
snakes could be down in there. Maybe next time I come back, I'll put the, the snake leggings on with the uh, long pants. That way, you know, when you're hiking through, you know, deep grass like this, you don't have to worry about it. But you can see it's pretty cool because, oh, this grass is deep. The trail, there's a trail that goes that way. And you got another one that's circling back into the woods right here. I bet those would be some great hikes. But uh, because I don't want to hike in the deep grass with just shorts on, and you know, I'm surprised to see it this long. It wasn't this long the last time I was here. Maybe they're uh, going to you know, wait and harvest it for, for hay, maybe. Who knows? But uh, I'm just going to continue down this road because it's nice and wide open. And uh, I can see, you know, if, if anything's uh, nasty, uh, like a copperhead or something. And uh, we'll save these for snake leggings and long pants on another hike uh, someday. It'd be just my luck, I'll have all that gear on. <laughs> <laughs> and then the grass will be cut. <laughs> but well, but uh, one more look at the prairie here. You know, just, just, just gorgeous. Everything I wanted in a hike today. I just wanted a nice, easy little hike with shorts on and t-shirt. And man, the weather's just perfect. Let's get that sun one more time with the clouds. Man, I love looking at the clouds like that. Isn't that beautiful? You can see them off into the distance. Look at these. Look at these swirly ones here. Isn't that cool looking? Oh man, what a day. All right, let's let's get a panoramic. Uh, I'll take it nice and slow. Let's take the phone up as high as I can reach. All right, cool. Time for another panoramic. And uh, let's get the phone up as high as I can get it. All right, so I always try to get the weird stuff on the video. Wonder what this is supposed to be or was. I'm, I'm sure it would be cool if they had a little sign. Yeah, I just, and then, uh, boy, check the bird over here. They've got two little birds hitting the big bird, I guess chasing him. And uh, you got this one here. I guess that's a hawk. Look at that thing. Boy, that is awesome. Look, there he's coming, coming coming around anyway just getting back to the weird stuff so you got this on this side with a big old dial up here <laughs> I don't know what that would be but anyway look at this uh, I've heard about this and I had no idea that we were on the trail but you can see there's an observation tower right down here so we're gonna get a nice panoramic from that um, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more uh, some more birds and uh, and I'll just wait till we get there. It's kind of towards this end. I wanted to do it right from the middle, but when I saw that tower, you can see the bird. There he is, still, still flying around. Man, what a great day. I wasn't expecting this hike at all. Holy moly. Well, I guess we'll have to come back a different time. I don't know if you can see him. I'm not getting any closer. There's a gator right there. So I'm not gonna make it to the tower, unfortunately, today. We'll come back and do this again. I was thinking about turning back anyway once we got done at the tower, but I'm not going to walk right in front of him just to piss him off. <laughs> you, know, I mean, you know, I'm stupid, but I'm not that stupid. So he's, that's what I was saying on this trail. I thought you'd be able to see him. He's not moving, which is kind of weird. But uh, if that's a male gator, they're in season right now. So we're not going to get 
any closer to him because they can move fast. All right, well, bummer, man, because uh, I really wanted to get up on that tower and see what it looked like. But uh, it's cool seeing the gator, huh? Look at that guy. It almost looks like he's dead. He's just sitting there with his mouth open. Could be dead. Who knows? I'm not going to go poke him and find out. All right. Guess this uh, maybe be the last video. Who knows? I always say that and I find something else. But, uh, you know, I guess that would be kind of a danger hiking this trail. Suppose a gator came up and he was sunning himself on my journey back. <laughs> you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to walk in front of him, right? The other thing I wanted to comment on is this road. Can you imagine? They must have years ago. They must have brought all of this in and made this road because they had to lift it up above the uh, the uh, swamp here because it's right through the middle of the swamp, which is pretty amazing feat to to bring all of this in here and put this road in. Um, but yeah, yeah. If you, if a gator came up and was blocking your path on the way back, what would you do? <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm not going to walk in front of him. You know, I guess maybe try to wait him out or uh, throw something at him, try to get him to move. I, you know, but then you got to be fairly close. I'm just speculating here. I, once again, <laughs> I've got to talk to Lisa about this. <laughs> I always talk about her. Oh my gosh, she doesn't. She doesn't have a clue, and she's in all my videos. I got to talk to her about these bug bites too. I'm, I've been putting uh, cream on them. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's supposed to alleviate the itching, but I don't think it's it's helping the uh, the damage clear up. So she's probably got. I know witch hazel or something like that. Well, that's for repelling. Uh, uh, chiggers, you know, uh, that was another thing besides the vinegar. Uh, vinegar was easier in my mind um, But I she's probably got some home remedy for putting on the bug bites. It'll just clear them up I'll talk to her about that tomorrow at the uh, VFW. All right, just uh, just kind of thinking about things You know with that gator there You know suppose one came up and you're on your way back and you you can't get around him You, you know that would be uh, that'd be interesting. I don't know what I'd do at that point. I'll have to talk to, once again, talk to Lisa about that. <laughs> How do you get a gator to move without getting yourself a uh, bit? I wanted to get this on the video. I don't know what these birds are all doing right up here, but I, I will get them taken off because I'm getting pretty close to them. I'll just be quiet and let you enjoy the day. How close are we going to be able to get to them? I'll cut some of this out. There they go. I told you they'd have to take off here. Got these two right here. Look at that. Woo. We got these four right here. Looks like he's got a snake in his mouth. Maybe that's why they're there. There we go. Get them taken off. Ooh. Man, the wind really picked up. All right, that's it. That's what I'm seeing <laughs> in my nightmare. There's a gator just crossed the path down there. I hope he doesn't uh, pull up and take residence right beside the path where I got to walk in front of him. So, I uh, he was a big one too, walking across. I got to keep an eye out for him. There he is. Look at the size of that guy. Can you see him over there in the water? I'm glad he's over there, not over here. Wow, look at him moving around. Let's just sit here and get the gator for just a minute. Like Lisa said, can't go a mile in Florida, oh, he's turning my way. All right, let's leave him be. <laughs> he's, if he's coming my way, I can get the hell out of here. Always a welcome sight to see the ADV waiting for me. So let's just get a selfie with the Ocala Forest here. Uh, after uh, Chigger Mageddon, <laughs> no chiggers. <laughs> I stand there. Kind of want to 
to summarize the hike, uh, I always try to do that. Um, I think snake leggings, or at least uh, high boots, would be a, a recommend. Uh, some of that grass I was hiking through, I had to go nice and slow in case there was a snake hiding down in there. Because you wouldn't want to get hit by a copper without uh, the snake leggings or at least high boots on. Um, the other question that I've got, and I never gave it much thought before, was those trails are pretty narrow. And if you did get a gator, like I did today, sunning himself, uh, you know, and you couldn't get past him, what are you going to do? You know, I mean, I guess uh, I'm going to go home and do some research on the internet. And maybe, you know, if you take a bullhorn or something and make a loud noise, you could get them to move. Because, uh, you know, you don't want to get within, you know, 30 feet of them things. And that trail, uh, if you, well, when you, well, you've already watched the video, if you're, if you're here at the end, um, you know, there's no way to, to get past them uh, without coming close to them. So that's going to be a question that I got to answer before I come back here. Um, if I do come back, it's going to be long pants, snake leggings, and I, I'll bring my backpack. That way, if I, if they have cut the grass, that's another question I've got to get answered is uh, who who maintains this area? You know, um, I don't know. I've never seen a, a lawnmower in here or anything. Uh, I assume the county does, uh, Marion, Marion County. Uh, how often do they cut the grass? I mean, because it's getting pretty long in there. And, uh, you know, if, if it gets up past your waist, you don't want to be, even, even with snake leggings, I wouldn't want to be in there because of the bugs, you know, because the chiggers and stuff hang out on that long grass. So I wonder who, when they're going to cut it again. Um, so who knows, maybe I'll have to wait till the, uh, the fall or, or winter again, you know, to be, I mean, there's still some trails in here that, that I can hike that I know I, that have no grass on them. Like, uh, let's just swing around. Like, you know, we're parked at the, the um, I guess this is the south entrance, or one of the south entrances, and uh, the, the the trail goes off into the uh, into the restoration area where there's no grass on the road, and so that'd be a nice hike. I do want to come back. I was going to do that today, as a matter of fact, almost. But then I thought just making a left and going up by the road would be a nice easy hike, and that's what I was looking for after that nightmare in the Ocala National Forest. Uh, anyway, peace out. I'm going to drink some water here and. Uh, hang out for a few and then get back on the road. Got a beautiful motorcycle ride home through the country. You can see the traffic that I got to endure here. <laughs> so, all right, peace out, you guys.